What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Man 13 video. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button as well. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Of course, I welcome your criticism in the comment section. And as always, I'll play this at speed and ask you to follow me on Twitter. My username is Shutdown Safety. I want to talk about procedural awareness. Uh, in this example, something I never want to see out of a football game, but certainly things that have to be polished when we start talking about Madden 14 and moving forward with this game, Madden 25 actually. So obviously, again, online game here, Giants, Broncos. And I just want you to note that I've got a blitz coming from the left side my kind of line is is very skewed for some reason the Giants are able to completely pick up every blitzer and, and sometimes these blitzes aren't picked up very realistically I'm actually sending a corner here and I just want you to notice no one actually blocks my corner he just kind of runs in here and kind of gets hung up on Ahmad Bradshaw and then kind of just gets flung around and falls to the ground and, and this is not something I want to see this is very ragdoll like and I would much prefer to see a simple block be executed than this. But more importantly, I want to talk about the coverage that's going on up here. This is a zone coverage, and traditionally these are problems in Madden. But I want you to notice the procedural awareness Harris executes here. As he comes out, he runs into his zone, and that's okay. You know, obviously, he realizes there's a receiver running behind him because procedurally he turns and looks at the receiver. But the problem is, as he's looking at the receiver, he's running toward the quarterback. And this is a straight angle toward the quarterback for no reason. I don't understand. This isn't a blitz. I don't understand what would possess anyone to look backwards and then run the other way on a football field. I mean, if anything, it's really not healthy to do this. But he continues to do this really until the ball is thrown, at which point he reacts. But more importantly, look at how my safety more reacts to this. Because he pretty much does the same thing. He's going to run back into his zone which is fine, but then they seemingly really get locked on this gap in the line and begin to just mindlessly run toward that gap. Now, no one is playing the receiver in terms of positioning, in terms of the ball being thrown, until really right now. I mean, you can see Moore kind of does this little stutter, but still, he's not running toward a position where he's going to be defending this pass or defending the receiver. He's really more or less running toward that gap, even as the ball is thrown. Now this ball clears both of them by a good five yards. And you can see they react as the ball goes past them and then start to pursue down the field as I take user control. But again, by this point, that, that's a very moot point. I mean, you've given a five-yard cushion to any wide receiver in this league, and they're going to be able to, to run in for a touchdown. So just to take a look at this from the receiver's perspective, you see... Breaks up off the line, wide open in the middle of the field, does a little stutter, comes across, zero interaction from either player in the zone, and then basically runs down the field for a touchdown. But again, procedurally, when you look at this and you break it down, you see a lot more of a problem than anything else. I never want to see players not know their assignment, look the other way, and run one direction. Love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you taking time to watch it, and I'll be back in the week with more videos.